Indonesian Navy commissions new indigenous corvette. The commissioning ceremony was held at PT Karimun and Ugrasajati S shipyard in Batam, Riau Islands, where the vessel was first launched and named on February 27, 2025. According to TNIAL, the ship was constructed in 20 months and demonstrated the service's commitment to procuring more domestically made products. The Corvette measures 80.3 meters in length, 12.6 meters in beam, and can reach a top speed of 25 knots. It can accommodate a crew of 82 personnel and has an endurance of 5 days at sea. While it currently mounts an older Bofors 57mm naval gun, the Navy stated that it could be replaced later with a 76mm main gun to enhance the ship's firepower. Designed for multi-role operations, KRI Bung Hata will also be equipped with surface-to-surface -surface missiles, surface-to-air missiles, and a torpedo launch system. In addition, the Corvette will feature electronic warfare capabilities, including Radar Electric Countermeasures RECM and Radar Electric Support Measures RESM. However, TNIAL has not publicly provided a clear timeline for when all these systems will be fully installed. Operational control of the vessel will fall under TNIAL's Second Fleet Command based in Surabaya City, East Java. KRI Bung Hata will also be deployed to patrol and secure the country's key maritime choke points, TNIAL added. Back in April 2023, the same shipyard launched a 73-meter corvette named after Indonesia's first president, Soe Karno KRI Bung Karno 369. While both ships share a similar lineage, there are notable design distinctions beyond their dimensions. KRI Bung Hata features a shorter angled forward superstructure compared to its predecessor. It also has a visible gap along its superstructure amidship an area typically reserved for surface-to-surface -surface missile launchers, suggesting a greater emphasis on combat tasks. One likely explanation for this design divergence is 